Welcome to another edition of Month in Data, where this month we look at how Netflix scored a goal with Beckham, the power of Swiftonomics plus the harms to mental health posed by influencer platforms. Golden Balls scored big for Netflix in October with the release of Beckham, the four-part docuseries shining a light on the life of the global football star and cultural icon. As one of the most well-known names on the planet, David Beckham's exploits on and off the pitch place him as one of the highest paid athletes of all time. From humble beginnings in North London, Beckham's career has taken him across the world from Manchester to Miami, with stops in Madrid, Milan, Paris, and Los Angeles along the way. It is this global appeal that helped see the Beckham series take top spot on Netflix's most watched TV shows list in October. In the first week of its release, Beckham scored over 12 million views, six million more than the latest season of Sex Education. While in its second week, the series beat viewing figures for The Fall of the House of Usher by over 5 million views. Interest in the documentary on the former England captain's life has been particularly strong in the United Kingdom, where Beckham ranks as the most famous sports personality of all time, ahead of the likes of Wayne Rooney and Tyson Fury. Beyond just earnings on the field, Beckham's wealth also includes brand endorsements, a sizable property portfolio, sporting ambassadorship, and a business empire. The most notable of these projects is his co-ownership of Inter Miami, the Florida-based MLS team that made headlines after signing Lionel Messi to much hype and fanfare. Beckham's ability to tempt the big names to America highlights the continued impact he has on the sport. Coming back stronger than a 90s trend, Taylor Swift is a global phenomenon redefining the music industry and smashing records. October was a big month for Swift. Her Eras Tour concert movie brought in close to 100 million US dollars in its opening weekend, more than any other concert film. Her net worth surpassed 1 billion in the process, while a new documentary on the star was released on Prime Video. Her current Eras Tour counts an outstanding 146 dates across five continents. A three-hour performance where Swift goes through all 10 of her album. Taylor Swift has broken several records throughout her career, being the first woman who ever had four albums simultaneously on the top 10 on Billboard Top 200, and the artist winning most American Music Awards in history are some examples. Taylor Swift is not only the highest earning female musician of the past decade, but she is also having a concrete impact on the local businesses, like restaurants, bars, and hotels during her concert. So much so that a new term was coined to describe this phenomenon, Swiftonomics. Swifties are very loyal. When she speaks, they listen. When she took to Instagram and encouraged her fans to register to vote, Vote.org saw an increase in participation of more than 1,000% after just one hour. Instagram has proved to be a successful tool in allowing celebrities to offer a deeper look into their lives. However, the dangers of using social media have often been overlooked in the process, especially with regard to the use among young people. Meta, the parent company of Facebook and Instagram, has now been accused of misleading the public about these risks, contributing to a mental health crisis among children and teens. A bipartisan group of 42 attorneys announced in October that it is suing Meta, alleging that features on its social media platforms are addictive. Instagram is designed to provide bottomless content to increase user engagement and time spent online. Among social media users in the United States, there's a clear divide regarding the positive and negative effects on mental health. Studies have shown that it is not the time spent on Instagram that is the problematic element, but how users engage with the app that can have the greatest impact. Behaviors such as seeking popularity online and social comparison can be destructive. 
leading to depression, social anxiety, low self-esteem, and body image issues. Concerns around safeguarding the mental well-being of young people are not restricted just to Meta. In October, the state of Utah filed a lawsuit against TikTok, accusing the platform of leveraging its powerful algorithms and manipulative design features to entice young users to use the app. Beyond state level, over 2,000 lawsuits have been pursued by families against the likes of Meta, TikTok, Roblox, and YouTube. A strong signal for enacting stricter regulations on social media firms to increase child safety online. To find out more about these topics and countless more, head over to Statista.com and join us next month for another round of Month in Data.